Hi, I'm with Christine from Fit Mama Training and she is going to talk to us about some exercises that we can do um, prenatal and postpartum. Hi everybody, this is Christine. Um, so I am a personal trainer, trainer and yoga instructor uh, and I train mostly women who have given birth. So uh, also pregnant women, postpartum and um, women in general. So, a lot of our exercises are focused on strengthening the pelvic floor muscles um, while, while working out. So, everyone knows about Kegels, and if you see a pelvic floor therapist, they'll talk to you about doing Kegels to strengthen uh, your pelvic floor muscles. But um, at Fit Mama Training, we like to incorporate it into your workout. Okay, so you're not sitting there constantly <laughs> focusing on tensing and relaxing, tensing and relaxing. All right, so today I'm going to go through a few exercises where you can incorporate um, the strengthening exercises of your pelvic floor, but it also goes hand in hand with strengthening your core muscles and the muscles supporting your hips, so your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads. So a lot of lower body strengthening exercises. The one I like the most is the bridge. Um, so I might just come onto the and yoga mat and just show you the bridge pose. So coming down onto your back, you're going to make sure you press your lower back into the mat. Your feet are uh, positioned hip distance, knees are hip distance, and you'll walk your heels close to your bum so that you can kind of touch them with your fingertips. You're going to turn your tailbone upwards and on an exhale, drive those hips all the way up to the ceiling or the sky, peeling one vertebrae off at a time. So you can be clenching your glutes here, not overly tight, but just actively driving the hip bones up as you reach your knees away from you. All right, so from here, you wanna think about the pelvic floor muscles, which I'll just talk about while I'm in this really comfortable position. Basically, they're layers of muscles that act as a sling, okay, in your pelvic bone to hold all your organs up. Okay, so from here you don't want to hold it forever. So you're going to slowly come down, hips hover on the mat, okay, so you don't release just like this. So keep that tailbone tucked under to keep your core engaged. So you're going to do about 10 of these. Exhale, drive the hips up, squeezing, and slowly lowering down. So you're strengthening the glutes the hamstrings, the quads. You're thinking about the pelvic floor muscles as you rise and release as you lower. So when you think about strengthening, all right, so you're gonna to continue to think about the pelvic floor muscles. All right, as you drive up and slowly lowering down, keeping your tailbone tucked, right, to keep that core connection. So you'll do about 10 of these. Take a little break if you need to. You can hug your knees into your chest, roll side to side, and then we will progress to make it, if that feels um, good to you, you can progress on into marching bridges. So you'll tuck that tailbone under, peel your back off the mat, drive those hips up, try to keep your hips up as you march your bridge. Okay, so you're gonna lift one leg up at a time. Lay that foot down and other leg will come up. So the whole time you want to keep your hips as high as possible as you bring your knee in towards your body. All right, so you'll want to do between 10 and 20 of these before you lower down. Just work with your own threshold and then slowly lowering all the way down. So it's also important to do one-legged exercises um, if you have, I'm going to sit up, <laughs> if you've had um, a C-section, which I did with my uh, first, um, you might have an incision that still has some scar tissue um, that needs to be worked through. So massage works with really well for that um, and heat also to break down the scar tissue, but also uh, one-legged exercises and stretches, so such as lunging. I always do the low lunge. Okay, so low lunge here, stretching through your hip flexor. I already feel that pulling, like a comfortable, nice pulling along my incision. So you're just helping to sort of break down the scar tissue there because that can be pretty uncomfortable um, 
over time. So another exercise I like to strengthen specifically the core is heel taps. So you'll come back into this um, lying down position. Really important here to tuck your tailbone under. Make sure you have a nice neutral spine. So you're feeling your upper, mid, and lower back on the mat as you bring your legs to tabletop. So from here, you also want to think about your, your neck is also part of your spine, okay? So you want to tuck your chin in slightly so it's neutral from neck to tailbone. So from here, you want to make sure that your knees are not coming too far into your chest. So your legs are at a 90 degree angle. You can use your hands on your thighs um, just to make sure that they don't come closer to you. And from here, making sure that your lower back is pressed into the mat, you'll slowly, on a count of three, lower one heel down on an inhale. So inhaling one, two, three, keeping your leg bent, you're gonna tap your heel down Exhale slowly, one, two, three, bringing it back up, and then your other leg will slowly come down on the same count of three. Heel tap and slowly, slow. See this leg already wants to creep up, but you don't want to let it come up. That actually makes it easier for you, so you want to keep the legs in 90 degrees. All right, so I might, for these, just put a timer on and start with 30 seconds if that's excruciating go with 20 you'll build yourself up to 40 50 whatever works for you but the whole time you want to check in that your lower back is not coming off the mat all right so pressing the lower back in the whole time all right the last exercise i'd say that would be great and that i included in almost every fit mama class um, is the squat all right, so I think everyone knows how to squat, but I can definitely break it down. We're gonna have to turn this camera in, in a different viewpoint. But, so your feet are gonna be hip distance or just a little wider than hips. And you can turn your toes out slightly because our hips aren't straight like this. They actually go out slightly, or childbearing purposes. So toes are slightly out. I like to start with my hands at my chest. All right, you're gonna bend your knees and sink your hips down between the heels. All right, so from here, you're gonna get as nice and low as you can, hips between the heels. I know some people teach it like out here, your butt's back here, but you actually want to drive your hips down between the heels as much as possible, keeping your chest up. Try not to round the shoulders forward, squeeze your shoulders back. All right, so from here, you're gonna dig into your heels, squeeze your glutes, come all the way back up to standing. So, breath is super important, keeping the breath. You're gonna inhale as you lower down. Exhale, activate the glutes by driving your weight into your heels. Exhale, come up. I'm really glad you can spit all over the floor. <laughs> Especially during COVID times. All right, so you're gonna inhale, release the pelvic floor muscles. And exhale, think about lifting, like an elevator, lifting upwards those pelvic floor muscles as you exhale. So incorporating that, you know, engagement with your pelvic floor muscles is half the battle. So inhale, lowering down, and exhale, lifting upwards. So starting with 10 of these a day, and if you get super tired or confused, just like give it a rest, give it a break, it's a lot to think about. Having good form with your squat, lifting, releasing the pelvic floor muscles. So, you know, you can take a break. You can actually just take a break and work on your breathing or work on the engagement of the pelvic floor muscles or just practice your squat. So break it down. If it becomes overwhelming, you know, just break it into three different things. So those would be my three top exercises for that anybody can do at any point, whether you're pregnant, you're um, postpartum, or you're just a woman wanting to strengthen your muscles. Great. Yeah. And um, how many reps would you say to do of each? Can you do kind of like 30 seconds times like three reps yeah. or what, what do you think? So uh, definitely repetition is key for strengthening. So uh, everything that I recommend, you would do probably 10 reps to start three times a day or like if you're going to sit down and do these three exercises, that's what I would do, like three rounds. Do all three and do three rounds. And you can time it if you don't want to count your reps. Start with 30 seconds, 
um, and then build yourself up. Maybe if that was kind of easy, the second set, 60 seconds. If that felt easy, you know, you can build up. And then the progressions are you can add weight. Right. You can add like a 10, even a 20 pound dumbbell on your hips when you're doing those bridges. Right. When you're doing the heel taps, you can hold a weight over your arms, um, extending over your chest, um, and that increases the difficulty as well. Um, with squats, obviously there's a million variations, but adding weight is probably the next stage for you as you get stronger and stronger. Okay, thank you so much, Christine. You're welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> Bye.